canned and preserved tuna is our recipe today. Super delicious and easy to make, extremely nutritious, lightly cooked and preserved in olive oil fused with wonderful aromas of chili paste, garlic, lemon zest, black peppercorn. Let's enjoy that. Carlimas Oryxi. Bon appetit. Look at that beauty. Look at those colors. The aromas coming out of it is absolutely amazing. Mm. You can preserve this in the fridge for almost a month plus. Be on the lookout of my upcoming recipe of tuna and pasta. I've got one fresh tuna fish, about a one and a half, two kilograms that I've taken out the bones and the head. A liter and a half of cold water. For the preparation and boiling process, we need about four to five bay leaves, four to five garlic cloves, a small spoon of Himalayan salt, small spoon of peppercorn, and a dash of crushed black pepper. For later on, we're going to use the uh, skin of a lemon, the zest. We have four to five uh, garlic cloves. We need either keppers or kepper leaves. And of course, we will use our olive oil. Into our water, we're going to add our spices and herbs. We shall bring the water to boil. Then we're going to simmer on low heat our tuna fish. And this process should take about one hour. I need all that water to be absorbed by the fish. Now that all the juice and the water has evaporated, being absorbed, I'm allowing the fish to cool down. Then we're going to work it and prepare in the jars. We have kept the bay leaves, the peppercorn. Now we're going to peel the skin and clean our fish. I'm going to break into large chunks like that. Look at that beauty. In no time, I cleaned the fish. Now this step is very important. I'm going to leave it on a kitchen counter for about a couple of hours. We have sterilized our jaws. Now each of those jaws takes about 200 grams. My lemon skin, I cut in long strips like that. My garlic, I sliced in the middle. I've got my Kepper's leaves. This is optional. I'm going to put my chili paste. If you don't like that, you skip this. And the uh, tuna is well dried. So we're going to start putting in the jaws. We start with a layer of lemon skin, the garlic cloves, then we're going to place our Kepper's leaves. The chili paste, as I said, this is optional. I'm going to place at the bottom of the jar like this. It will flavor all the tuna. We then take one bay leaf and we place into our jar with clean hands, of course, all the time. We take a large filet of tuna and we need to squeeze it into our vase like that. Press and squeeze. Halfway through, we could put some lemon skin. This is the final result. Beautiful, aromatic, free of preservatives. Now let's go and work our olive oil. I will need about four to 500 milliliter of olive oil. So what I'm going to do, I will heat the oil to a temperature of 50 Celsius, where you could put your finger in the oil and not burn. You don't want to burn the oil. The way you know your oil is ready it starts smelling and you take your finger and put it in it be careful it's just the right temperature we carefully pour in our oil in the jars allow it to be soaked then pour in again they need to be covered with oil now we're going to close allow it to cool down and put in the fridge we're going to put in the fridge and allow to work its magic for about a week to 10 days. Canned tuna is ready. Let's open and enjoy. Look at that beauty. 